What are you doing? Mom and Dad were right. I don't know what's going on with this thing. For all I know, it could burn down the house. Simon, you can't be serious. You're going to take apart the time machine? I got no other choice. What is that? It's the motherboard. It's kind of like the computer's brains. So you intend to kill it? I can't really kill it, Mary. It's not alive. You said it yourself. It has a brain. It can think. It only thinks what we program it to think. It doesn't have a mind of its own. It seems to have chosen me on its own. Haven't you wondered why? It was an accident. Have you considered how such an act could be purely random? This is insane. Crystal, the cutters. Mary, look. You're a great writer, or you're going to be. But you don't know what you're talking about. I'm the one that understands the time machine. And what if your knowledge of what it was is blinding you to what it has become, Simon? Are you so sure that you're prepared to risk ending a life rather than admit you could be wrong? I'm not saying I agree with you. But I just can't take the chance. That's the last of it. We're back to the original machine. Well, it's good Mom and Dad said we could keep it. That's something. It's amazing how such parts could be put together to make a whole... Intriguing. So now that we know it's alive, what do we do? Try communicating with it. Hello? Aloha? Bonjour? I guess it's the shy monster. Nothing that is alive can be a monster. Hmm, that's a good point. Perhaps I will start writing my book. husband will never believe this. You won't remember to tell him. To my regret, I had so many inspirations here. Yo, dude, what's up?